Well, I'm going to be carrying this for the next 10-15 minutes on a walk. That's going to be fun. Hello friends and welcome back to the Fishing with Matt channel. So today we're going to be fishing in a completely brand new spot to me with Kayak Dangler Pool. We're just on the walk down to the beach now. So yeah, I'm excited. Paul had a massive conga from this spot this morning on his live stream. So yeah, do go check out Kayak Dangler's channel. Drop him a sub, give him some thumbs up and give him some love in general. So yeah, just walking down now, get down to the beach, get set up. And hopefully tonight will be an absolute cracking session. Okay everyone, so welcome back as I said to the channel. So we're fishing down a beach that I've never fished before, down in Littlehampton. And we're joined by our good friend Kayak Dangler who's over there doing a live stream. So that's happy days. So we've got three rods as you would have seen me setting up. On the first one, which is the multiplier rod, we have got a cheeky little squid and sand eel bait there for a ray. On the second rod, which is our Penrath 2 rod, we have got a lovely little pulley rig as well with an 8-0 hook and a whole mackerel. That's a joey mackerel for a big conger. And then down the end here, we have got a two hook flapper with a squid head followed by a strip of squid. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a bit of scratching on this one. Going for a big conger on that one and a ray on that one. So I'll roll the clip on the main reason that we're down here tonight. Hello guys, there's a 30 pound conger eel off the shore. Yeah, man. So there you go. Good old kayak dangler caught a 30 pound conger off the shore here just this morning. So we're hoping that we can get into a bit of that action tonight, as well as catch some other lovely fish. So yeah, we're gonna get all of these rods cast out and fingers crossed we're gonna have a good old night. So before we cast out, you may have seen the weights that we're using on all of our rigs tonight. And these are weights made by a good friend of the channel, Craig. And they were actually sent out by Kojak, who is one of the loyal subscribers on the channel. So yeah, big thanks to both of those guys. These are really amazing looking UV fluorescent weights and they're meant to help the fish be more attracted to your baits. So yeah, we're gonna give those a go. We've got them all three different rods. We've got custom ones. If you are looking to get some of these, there'll be a link in the description. You can get custom colors. Good old Craig does squid jigs, weights, and he also does rigs and stuff like that. So it's just great. So yeah, big thanks to Craig, big thanks to Kojak as always. Let's get these chucked out. All right then. So let's get this first bait chucked out. So we're down Little Hampton, as I said. High tide tonight is about 20 past 11, and I'd say it's currently just gone past nine o'clock. So we've got a good three hours fishing up, and then we're planning on fishing it down a little bit as well. So yeah, fingers crossed this will be an amazing session. It's going for our first cast there with the old malt plier, and it was lovely, so there you go. Here we go then, so this is going to be the first interview with the microphone, so here we go. The man, the myth, the legend. How you doing, my friend? Off catching that conger eel. Not bad, man. We're having another go, aren't we? Yeah, let's best just, getting a sub. Let's try again. You said you're at a loose end tonight, so why not come and have a go yourself? <laughs> Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> there he is, man, the myth, the legend, kayak dangler, king of the 30 pound conger off the shore. Beast. Absolute beast, he said. Beast. So, yeah, check out kayak dangler's channel. Give him a sub, everybody. He's, a, he's an up and comer, and it's always nice to spread the love. So go check the boy out. But yeah, we're going to get back to our rods because we're all the way back over there. So I guess as well, before we go any further, I should show you all what bait we're using tonight. So I bought this for my showroom trip, which is a video before this, as we were going to hit the beach after going to the river. But yeah, plans change. So we've got some lovely riot bluey here, some riot sand eel and riot joey mackerel. And then we've got some cuttlefish there and some riot bait squid there. So we've got a plentiful amount of bait, some nice oily fish, and then the, obviously the, uh, the squid and cuttlefish. And hopefully we can catch a whiting or two as well, which is a plan, and we'll whack one of those on as a live bait for a bass or a conger. Yo, yo, everybody, look at this. So I wanted to go and get my phone. I just saw a bike, so I put some bells on my rod. And look at this, absolute chunk of a conger. This thing's massive, we'll get a weight on it, but that's definitely beat my PB down Selsey. And what, we've only been down here for like half an hour, the rod's out. Look at the chunky size of that conger. 
that's on our whole Joey mackerel. So yeah, hopefully we can catch some white in tonight. Because if we're getting a fish like that straight away, then oh my gosh. So yeah, we're gonna get this one unhooked. We'll get a weight on it and oh, oh my God, what a beast. Just before we T-bar him off, I just wanna show you. Look at that. We got a perfect lip hook on that bear boy. What a banger. Let's go, look at that, perfect lip hook. Here we go, then we've got trusty assistant kayak dangler here. We're gonna get the old scales turned on. I'll weigh the sling off afterwards. Yeah, yeah, we'll weigh the sling. I reckon right. that's gotta be close to 15 plus, to be honest. No way, here it goes. So with the sling, we're looking at 16.91. How much does that sling weigh? You can tell that. There you go, 16.91 pounds. Let's uh, reset it. We'll weigh the sling, we'll get a picture as well. That sling can't be that much, surely. Hopefully not. Three or four pounds. Is it? Oh, don't say that to me. Three pound four. Three point four pound the old sling, so what sixteen point nine? Three point four, thirteen point five ish? Yeah, thirteen and a half. Thirteen and a half pound. Well there you go, that's my PB, yeah, there's my There's my boot next to it, and that's our first cast. Yeah, Let's go. There we go everybody. Oh, he's a slippery customer, isn't he? <laughs> Look at that, what a beast. Happy day. So yeah, just about thirteen and a half pound he goes. So yeah, we'll see if Kite Daniel wants to join us down and we'll let him go. But happy days, look at that, that's first cast! Yeah. <laughs> first cast, let's go get him back then. Try not get bitten. But if that's first cast, then, well... Yeah, I told you, Matt, and you yeah. And, and Kayak Dangler had one that was £30, so there you go. See. Happy days! See. Quickly, before I send out another bait, I just thought it's worth showing you guys the rig again. So yeah, this is going to be a taupe rig. So we've got 200 pound mono there, basically. So that's not impossible for a conga like that to bite through, but it definitely makes it a lot harder. Obviously having a wire trace for the first bit down here is ideal for the taupe and conga. But yeah, there's the bait. So I saw an initial bite on this. So I did put bells on all the rods. And I thought nothing of it really, because you know, a bit of wind, a bit of tide, who knows? But yeah, five minutes later, ping, 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 ping. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage from my side, but I might be able to get some from old Paul's live over there. But yeah, look at that. We're gonna get another Joey mackerel on there, smash it out. Fingers crossed, get into one, double the size of that one. I'm buzzing everyone. That's what we came down here for. We drove a good old hour to get down here. Shoo! So there appears to be down here quite a bit of tide pull out there where it's taking the leads from left to right. So unfortunately, when I brought in our flapper, we had tangled with the big bait. But luckily on that flapper, we did catch a nice size white in there. So that is gonna be a great bait. We will chuck out. But yeah, it had two of our rods, the big bait and the flapper out of the water about 10 minutes. But that's okay. So yeah, we're gonna get some more squid on the flapper and try to catch some more whiting. Cause we are gonna steam through the last of these mackerel or the last mackerel. But yeah, catching that conga, happy days. Let's see if we can get in some bigger ones as the tide keeps on coming in. We have to check on that ray bait soon because it's been out there for probably close to an hour now as we've been faffing around with other stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna get the flapper out, check the ray bait, and fingers crossed getting some more fish. All right, everybody. So what we're gonna do here is show you how I'm baiting up the ray baits. So what I've got here is I've got a medium sand eel and I've cut the head and tail off. And then I've got one of these squid we've got here, the old riot bait. So I'm getting it on our handy little tool, the bait mate, which is just a stainless steel piece of metal it's got a bit of a curve to it. And what we're doing is we're just lightly whipping the elastic around the bait. Yeah. Yeah, can do. Just whipping it like that, sorry about that. We've got old kayak dangler coming over. We'll white him. So yeah, we're just whipping it like that. Making a nice little sausage. Oh, nice one, thank you, friend. And the idea of these sort of baits is sometimes the smaller the better for the rays. So potentially, and people will argue that something like that is a bit too big. But I'd say for at the moment, we'll keep it like that. And if needs be, we'll cut the squid in half and use half a squid. But there you go. We've got a single sand eel and single squid bait. And that's definitely a nice size for a ray. I brought in the ray bait and of course it was stripped as I have been out there for a while. But I just went over to the flapper and we've got another whiting. So yeah, we've got two that we've caught and one that Kite Dangler's caught. That one's about the medium size. So yeah, we've got a small one, medium and a big one. So at some point we are gonna put a 
good old whiting out there and that'll probably be the next bait on the big one. So yeah, I'm gonna get the flapper chucked out again and potentially may chuck a big bait out on that rod to be fair, we'll see. Oi, oi, oi. I think we've got something developing on that mackerel bait again. It's sort of been bobbing up and down a bit, but we just had a quick tickle just a couple of seconds before I filmed. So yeah, there may be a conga, there you go, a little tiny wriggle. So yeah, it might be a conga, and look at that again. I've brought in the flapper and now we're going to put a whiting on. So I just pulled this one in from the flapper and we're chucking them straight back out. So what I've done is I've obviously hooked them through the back and there's a nice bit of juice leaking out of them as you can see there. So we're not going to cut the tail or the gills or anything like that and let all the blood drip out. We're just going to let a slow drip come out, which should uh, prolong the bait for a little bit. But yeah, we've got a lovely little 8 -o hook in it again. The same rig as the one we caught the conger before, basically. We'll check the uh, conger bait as well in a minute and put another fresh mackerel on. And potentially we've got a bit of a slack line on the other rod. So yeah, we need to check all this stuff. But obviously with three rods, it can be a bit difficult. But there you go, there's the next bait, my friends. So we caught that conger about half past nine and now it's about five to 11. So I don't think Kayak Dangler has had a big conger yet. He's had a little tiny strap one. But since that first cast, it's been pretty quiet to be honest, which is a bit disappointing. But yeah, I've moved my position so that I can see the rods a little bit better because I was at a different angle. And now I'm right in front of the rods so I can see every single bite that happens. But yeah, the tide pull down here is pretty crazy. We're just getting pulled out to the right but I guess when the tide slacks off in a minute or two before high tide, we should have a good bit of fishing on the go. But yeah, still got the three rods out. We changed that mackerel bait. We've got that whiting on there. And then the ray bait is the squid and sand eel. So I reckon I'm gonna change that one out for a double squid, something like that, we shall see. This is the better view that we've got now. So we can actually see the rods bending to the right. Now we should see the bites a lot better from here. It is starting to spit a little bit. That's not a problem as we've got the shelter, obviously. But yeah, this is the only night this week that I can fish. It's a Tuesday and normally I'll be working this evening, but as it's Boxing Day, I'm not, which is happy days. Well, everybody, nothing special, but a fish nonetheless, and a tiny one at that, to be fair. So that was on the squid and sand eel wrap. And as many of you know, dogfish love a good sand eel. So interestingly, while I was getting the bait out of him, he puked up a tiny little crab and some uh, limpet. So that's, uh, yeah, interesting. But yeah, we'll get the dogfish back. The tide is now going down. It's about quarter past 11. And high tide was actually about five past 11 instead of half past. So yeah, we're going to have a look at the baits in a minute. But Kayak Dangler reckons that it should start picking up again about an hour after high tide. So hopefully we can get into some more congas. So the next bait that we're going to be putting on that rod the old multiply one is a double squid. So what we've done is we put the squid in the bait mate head to tail and just wrapped them up into a nice little sausage. So yeah, we're gonna hook it in the middle and obviously have the hook nice and proud. And we've got a nice dangly little bait, plenty of scent. And this is one of the baits that Dangler caught a bass on. That's a South Coast Dangler, not Kayak Dangler. So yeah, give it a go, why not? Let's see my friends. Potentially some exciting news coming up. We're getting a bite on the big Joey mackerel bait again. We've had a couple of pull downs. I've just tightened it down a little bit. So fingers crossed there's a nice big conga having a look at that bait. I'll get back to you all, don't you worry. This is crazy, I'm pretty flummoxed by this. I didn't even see a bite, but our entire whiting has just gone. The hook's completely clean. So yeah, someone must have been hungry. And I must have missed a bite, but there you go. Let's get another one on. So it's quarter 12 now. And I've just done a quick whip round on the baits again. Still got that double squid out there. We've been getting some taps on that. That mackerel, like I said we were getting some bites on, we were indeed. And I brought in literally just the mackerel head and that was it. So yeah, on two of the rods we have, one's got half a whiting on and then the other one has got a whole smaller whiting on. And we've still got that double squid that's been getting bites. So potential to be a fish on that squid. We'll leave it for another 10 minutes or so and bring that in. But yeah, these big baits are getting stripped, so there's potential for another nice fish. I hope so. Here we go, another quick little update. So the next bait we'll be chucking out instead of a whole whiting is a whole cuttlefish. So that's a perfect bait, as always, for a conger eel. So yeah, we'll get that chucked out next. Well, everyone, this is something that we've had to contend with all night, and it's probably one of the reasons why it hasn't been fishing so great this evening. 
That's because the whiting has been absolutely stripping every single bait that I've been putting out there. And that's been the same with old Paul over there. So if these weren't around, like during the day, they're not so prevalent, then maybe the congas could get to the baits first. But yeah, it's about a quarter past one in the morning now and I'm getting close to the point of packing up since there's only whiting coming in. So we're going to have a couple more casts with sand eel and squid and obviously chuck out a new cuttlefish bait. But yeah, if these guys weren't around and the baits were getting uh, out there and staying out there as they were, then maybe we have a better chance of getting into another conga. But I don't really see it happening. Ah, I'm gutted. Just brought in the old cuttlefish sausage. Look at that bad boy, there it is. I was like, oh, a bit of weight on here. And guess what? We've got a cheeky little gill hooked white in. Oh dear. That was coming in sideways. I was like, oh, I got a decent conger or something on here. Why not? But no. There you go. So we're going to get another sausage out, just like that. And that'll be our last cast, everybody, as well as the bluey. Can't believe it, eh? A whiting on an 8 -0. Tiny whiting on an 8 -0 and a massive sausage. Oh, dearie dear. Oh, dear. We've seen it all tonight, eh? We've got a whiting that's taken an entire bluey. Oh, dear. Right then, it's just the other rod with the big cuttlefish bait to bring in. So we'll give that another five or ten minutes. But yeah, oh dear, look at that. Look at how silly he looks, eh? Well, there it is, everybody. We're just going to go say bye to good old kayak dangler. If you are one of the one in about five people that are still watching right now, then thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. Obviously, I'll be uh, fishing next year. This is uh, Boxing Day 26th. So... I'm not sure I feel able to get out before the end of the year, to be honest, with all the bad weather that's coming through. But yeah, if you are still watching, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed already, do hit that sub button and also hit that like button and drop a comment. It really does help. We'll go say bye to Kayak Dangler. But yeah, we'll see you in the next video, everybody. Hope you enjoyed and happy days. Ooh.